Greetings and salutations everyone. Welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! Jax Tag Force. Previously, we teamed with Alexis. If you can see her, she's poking her head behind me. But we learned about the seven Shadow Riders who were, well, who are out for the spirit keys we're holding. And yeah, we gotta go around Dirty Nam Day. We had to defeat Bastion, who was teamed with Tanya, and then Chaz, who was over here with Don Zalug. But they're gone now, they just disappeared. This episode, we're gonna look for the next Shadow Rider, which is here, the special finals, finals arena. I've already dueled a Shadow Rider before. Tiny was actually the only one I haven't dueled before, so we're gonna know what the decks are called. If we talk to Cyrus, the same way, well, obviously no response. This is Abdos the Third. It'll help me pass the time. Now, I am a bit worried that we're going to lose to someone. If you lose to a sh Shadow Rider, you get an option to dump again, but I think it still counts as a loss. But there's one in particular I'm worried about. Well, two. Thinking about it. Uh, we'll see what happens. But yeah, the biggest fight in this fight is the team of the Shadow Riders. It's Alexis's AI. She will not summon the right monster. She will not activate the right trap. She will not activate a spell when she has it. The biggest example being premature burial. I've been doing some tag duels with her off screen. That's why I know which Shadow Riders to be worried about, but there will be a point. Like there was a duel that I had for practice where we barely won. But that's only because of me. There was a point where we could have won if Alexis played Premature Burial. But the AI will only play if it's the only card in their hand. There was a point when she did Premature Burial, and it was her turn, she drew, got Polymerization. Decided, no, I'm not going to play a card. I'm not going to play Premature Burial, I'm just going to end my turn. And we lost because of it. It's incredibly annoying. But we're not going to have a loss against them because when you exit free duel, you can say to save progress or not. I chose not to save that progress because I like this being dumb shouldn't count as my loss. There we go. Yeah, I have to carry Alexis. Not even on my shoulders, I need a full on horse and carriage to carry her stupid ass across this entire the game. It's dumb. I want to team up with her though because I like the idea of her looking for her brother. We won't find her brother unfortunately, but her brother is a Shadow Rider. We will end up skipping him though because we have Alexis as our partner. In order to duel him you need to have Alexis not be a partner. And he'll have had the, he'll end up teaming with Alexis. I could do a jump cut to show Alexis, and I might. Really, Alexis? We do we lost? She never flipped Cyberjar, but she did now. I really want to punch Alexis in the face. I said I have a bastion, but I want to punch Alexis in the face. There was a point where if she flips, I would draw could have won. Against the duelist, who I will not name. It is a Shadow Rider. I was doing tag duels in free row just to see what would happen. But there was a point where Alexis could have won if she flipped Cyberjar, and she did. And the Shadow Rider's partner just. they got rid of Cyberjar. In one of us ways, in, well, the government is about flipping it on the next turn when Alexis could have won. She could have drawn five cards when she had nothing, but she didn't. Summon Command Knight. Oh, you can't summon Command Knight. 
Ah, eu perdi, cara. Ah. Ikoyo, Grisado Slash! Here comes Gameplay Slash. And Magic Summer, fantastic. やったね。カードをセット。ターンエンド。来るがよい。世の I can certainly do if Hoppy's Feather Duster. That'd be great. Don't have it. What's that? What have we got? Do we show magic drain spirit barrier dimension wall? We're okay. For now. Strike it down. And who's next? Well, on Abido's next turn he can summon his ace monster. Oh wait, no he can now, can he? Yeah, he can. But well, the spirit of the Pharaoh, Abido's his ace monster. It has an animation! Okay, that's pretty fucking badass. Monster Koka, Hatsu. Here comes his effect. Hmm, Monster or Tokushi Shoka. Oh, that's cool. Ikuyo, Boku no Ta. Doro. Monster set. But we've double tap now because. Uh, oh, we don't. Never mind. Let's see. What did attack in Penguin Soldier? I'm gonna get us our life points back. Alexis lost us life points for a stupid reason. So I'm kind of acting that. You only have to duel against your partner. We can win now, anyways. Monster Koka Otsukawa. That's what this will do, I don't know. Penguin Soldier and Spirit of the Foul. You could have just chose the face of the monster. Any of their defense monsters would have worked. God, who am I thinking I want to go for a new game plus with another partner? Like a page 2 partner. They're gonna, they're gonna be as stupid as Alexis, they're just not gonna have as good cards. This is why you could have chosen a defense position milestone. You could have just attacked Spirit of the Foul to get to end the game. We still win, but Alexis, you look like a dumbass. Does she want me to help her find a brother? She wasn't even finding a just way. Konnani now I ain't joining you. Actually, maybe I will. I mean, you actually played better than Alexis during that duel, thinking about it. It's like the main characters really have a cohesive where they choose, you know, I need this card, I need this card. I suppose I actually had a consistent strategy, it just wasn't a good one. But enough about that. Let's see. Yeah, at this point, we won't be told where our next Shadow Rider is, because they're not paired up with a main character. I think they would be, though, if you paired up with her neighbor with, but we need to go to the docks. Yeah. 
and you can go all the way to the lighthouse. Of course, it's Crawler. And this guy, Titan. In the anime, he was sent to the Shadow Realm in GX by, by also himself. And he's back. But we never dueled him. You dueled him in a spirit collar, though. Which I was thinking of playing Spirit Collar then. Tag Force 2, but I decided not to. I want to play Tag Force just more. But I'm not doing the truth of Medieval Mark. But yeah, Carl's gonna be playing support to Titan. While Alex is gonna play anything that makes me lose. <laughs> But yeah, this guy's intimidating. In the anime, he was basically a con us, but now he's actually a real shadow rider. He's also got a pretty awesome dual vest. But he's playing a power deck. Which is a bit worrying. Basically anything that says Archfiend. Archfiends are all about power. They have effects, but their effects don't really benefit them. Free the command knight. ASAP. You can stop drawing Bally, Alexis. Oh, well, Royally, play Heavy Storm? Why won't you play Heavy Storm? Yeah, that's Crowley's voice is brilliant. Ooh, Crawler is still gonna go for his ancient gear golem now. He's got two of those. Yeah, so the ancient gear beast. Hey, my turn. Door. Gonna flip over Warrior Lady of the Wasteland. I don't even want to set a card for Alexis. I'll summon Gigabyte. Set. And just battle. Attack. I'm gonna end our turn. Akuma no ike ni e to naru. Watashi no turn. Doru. Koitsu da. Monster wo kogeki hyoji de shoukan. Ash face soldier, that's okay. I'm gonna activate Dimension Wall. You're taking the damage. I'm also gonna activate Alter for Tribute. Tribute and Gigabyte. I think I'm gonna hit on that one now. And he takes the damage. Oh no! You can't choose Warrior Lady's effect, but that's okay. What I want to do is trigger Heavy Storm. So I need to manipulate Alexis's AI in order to do that. There you go! Perfect! 
You just got to play defensive. That's all you have to do, and we'll be good. Right, we're safe. But like I said, the issue isn't the Shadow Riders, it's Alexis herself. Like I have to manipulate her AI to do the right thing at the right time. And I can't do that. Like for example, the way to describe it is the situation I described before. If she has, if she draws Premature Burial when she has Nova cards in hand, she will play it. If she has Premature Burial in her hand and draws a card, she will not play it. It has to be the only thing in her hand she needs to have not been on the field to play it. Even if she has game, she will not do it. Can't activate traps. That's okay. My turn. I draw. Activate. Half the underdog. What is in the grave that is worth bringing back? Nothing. So I'm a summon star boy. I'm a set. And I'm gonna end my turn. The plan is a simple one. I need to buy time until my turn. Activate mirror wall. Okay. Can't attack Alexis. Keep mirror wall on the field. That's your only job. Keep it. That works. いこよ。モンスターを攻撃をして召喚よ。戦うよ。これでどう。モンスターで攻撃。タック。モンスター効果を使う。Good, good, good. Reverse card. Trap has to. Ah, that's not. That's not fun at all. Well, that's a that's a 1100 attack. That's fine actually. Could have worse. Where did it go? Monster, the attack. Hmm. Good. 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 So I might have to do some deck editing. <laughs> He's so happy about it. Wait, it's time for me to end this. Heart of the underdog. I don't need to pay like points anymore. These two can go. Activate Monster Reborn. Bring back Starboy. In attack. Battle. End it. That doesn't matter. So, ah, Summon Skull Archive Lane. That is just a new version of Summon Skull, which is cool. It doesn't help. 
Quality for your senses. That could have been so terrible. Agaitian, do come on, they mo agaitian. How long were these duels? Twenty minutes. I was thinking of ending the episode after every two shadow eyes, but that's not gonna happen. Well, that was a good time to save, I think. Because next is Jaden, and he could have a really annoying thing. I'm going to save state there as well. But Jaden, well, Jaden's better with Shadow Rider, and that Shadow Rider can be pretty annoying for me. Like when I was put up a bash and they were the one that nearly defeated me. No response, alright. Damn nail. If you couldn't tell, he's Lyman Banner. But. Yeah, if I teamed up with Bash, I know was the only one that actually gave me issues. Like every other Shadow Bite was just done instantly. They just lost. You're gonna pick Paper, aren't you? Gotcha. But, um. Why are you doing keep saying? But, um. Same issues though. Alexis is a problem. Not the Shadow Riders. Just Alexis. Case in point. She has been forced of the army and a half. She's not going to play it. It's like a fucking psychic. She won't play it. She could fusion summon. But no, she won't. She'll wait till it's like, she'll wait till she has two cards and she'll play it. But she'll play it when she's not meant to. Oh shit. So you just special summon. Oh, Tribune Helios of Primordial Sun allows you to special summon Helios Duo Megistus, which attacker's card is based on monsters in a original play times 200. He's playing a banishment deck. You know how good a banishment deck can be. Well, for summoning or gaining attack points. Do any differences? There's a card I think. Well, Gwen Magic to Isa, I think would have been better. But they're not going to play it, obviously. What do we got? MST. Destroy that. I oh, only actually want Macro Cosmos is on the field. Uh, I'm going to set. There's no point in really summoning this jet while Swords is up. You could say I could have played Heavy Storm, I could have. I want Lexus to destroy to use hers first though. Oh, Fusion Blade. Yeah, do you know what Fusion Summon is much from Pedal Banner? He still wants his elemental heroes, but he plays a bit supportive. What are you attacking? Okay. Yeah, this one looks good to attack. I'll get a card back into, the, into my deck, so... I'll take MST. Might be Alexis's card, but it's mine now. Now Alexis, play Heavy Storm. I'm keeping Heavy Storm till I know I can use it for the game. But right now, she can play it and start going on the offensive. And now, Alexis, what you want to do is play reinforcement of the army. 
モンスターを生贄に捧げるわモンスターを攻撃表示で紹介してみる戦いよこれでどうモンスターで攻撃これでどうモンスターで攻撃But for those who don't understand, I want to play reinforcement of the army, which is the card to her far left. She could have added Cyber Prima to her hand, played Blaze Scaler, like you would use in Fusion Gear or Polarization, whichever one did, whichever one the Jay was thinking, whichever one Alexis was thinking, she could have used Zebra, she could have had 5,000 attack points on the field right now, and could have done way more damage. And a monster couldn't be destroyed by battle. But she's not doing it because she's just being stupid. She's doing this to spite me. Macro Cosmos. Yeah. So we can look for the opponent's deck. He needs a Helios in his hand. He didn't have one, so. Tough luck. Um, I'm gonna activate Monster Gate. I'm gonna tribute that spell lamp. And that's why. That's why you tribute that spell lamp. I was gonna tribute Alexis Monster just to spite her, but I'm not that much of an asshole. I'm an asshole, but I'm not a major one. So <laughs> collective, So collective, you have for the direct attack. So collective, well, end our turn. Now, I could have said Heavy Storm, but Alexis wouldn't have played it. Don't only activate a spell card to space down if it's a quick play. Except Book of Moon. They will never use Book of Moon for defensive or for stopping an attack. Or stopping an effect. They will only use it if they can, if they can flip over a monster and flip it back down. Don't do what I think you're doing. Okay, I wonder what I thought she was doing, but Alexis, she could have went with no damage. Look at nice. Don't show off. I'm a fan of Gigabyte Gain and Hidden, but come on. There we go. The door could have been over on the previous turn, no? But Alexis will never play reinforcement with the army. It's literally a card, the system of death, and it's just dead. It's a waste of space. If there was Bastion, will at least do is tribute your monster to something like Bytalon or something, and that's actually good. But there is Banner defeated. What's the recording time at? 28 minutes. That took 8 minutes, surprisingly. Our next Shadow Rider is at the Girl's Dawn. And a Pedal for Zane, if you can't tell. I lost to the Shadow Rider earlier. Because Alexis. Not flipping Cyberjar, not playing premature burials, so I'm expected to lose here. That was a free duel though. Because I wanted to get some practice to see if the Gagio deck could work. I did win with it before, but that was a Bastion. Now with Alexis. It won't say I have a loss though, because it was in free duel. So I lost, exited, and said no, don't save my progress. This is Camilla. And Zane in this duel, who plays the port but still plays Cyber Dragons. It's a pretty good mix to be honest. Ah oh, come on, I'm sure I'm fine looking. 
Please, I'll take your soul and turn you to my puppet. Now, pay attention to Camilla's entrance to the door, because this is really awesome. Probably the best in the game. You're gonna pick walk. Nope. But pay attention to how she enters the door. Vampire no Kihujin. Kono Kamura ga oite shimasu wa. That's just such a badass entrance for her. Do it! It's amazing, I kind of wish they had that animation as well, it would have been funny. It just emerges from the shadows. Oh my god, she's fusion summoning. That's the only time she has polarization is if she starts with Cyber Blader in her hand. Another reason why I lost to Canada last time was because she, Alexis could have played Cyber Blader, but didn't. She sent her fusion materials face down one turn after another, and she had reinforcement of the army in her hand. It's not like she, it's not like she couldn't fusion summon. She chose not to. <laughs> But this is the final shadow item, I believe. But after this duel, we're gonna show the, the next shadow item who you have to team up with anyone but Alexis. Gonna set. Gonna summon Mother Grizzly. And. Battle. Now, Kamala is playing the zombie deck. With Dark Axe of Fusion. She does have a fusion, but I don't know what it is. And our turn. But the issue here is Zane. I need to get Cyber and Dragon out. Nah, I'm gonna banish it and see if he plays another one. Yes. <laughs> he seriously did. He started with two, that's fantastic actually. Battle I'm a fan. Monster de Kogeki. Activate Mother Grizzly's effect. I wanna play Starboy. Monster set to. Now, Zane, what's your. No face downs. Face downs are the only thing I'm scared of. As Zane just gave us three attack points. Don't summon the cyber gym. Good. You have huge attack numbers right now. Just. If you guys heard that, I just hit myself in the face. I'm trying to become as brain dead as Alexis. It's a goal of mine. And I'm really fucking hurt. Yeah, I the reason I face palmed is it because she attacked Nana Blaker? It's because if she if she destroys Zane's face down hypothetically. <laughs> We won't be able to destroy Cyber Dragon. And that's the annoying part. Is that we wouldn't have been able to destroy Cyber Dragon. But, well, we would have been able to, but Alexis wasn't going to. It's Alexis we're talking about. You really think she's going to do something smart? She's not going to, ever. Like what Alexis would have done, she would have attacked the boy lady in the wasteland and done no damage. Instead, she would have taken damage. Ah, <laughs> oh, my entire face has now face part now. Like at least attack force twin three. If you build your relationship up with your partners in that game, you can actually change the deck they use. And that's amazing. 
There's certain cards you can't take out, but you can make the attacks better. You can take out cards that they don't use. For example, an attack force 2 3, I will be pairing up with everyone, because all have different stories to go on. Attack force 2 and 3, I think, is up to the first four hearts. The story is the exact same. After that, though, it takes a different turn. Are you going to attack, Alexis? In fact, I want to know, could we have just won that turn? Because I think we could have. No, but it would have been closer than what we're at now. Just attack with Blaze Gear to start things off with. Worst case scenario, you lose Blaze Gear. And why is it? Can you give us some attack points? Well, life points, just so. Oh, wait, Camilla. <laughs> Camilla, some of us will be strong, just give us our life points no, no. back. Undo Alexis' damage. Book of Life. Like Master Reborn, but better. You special summon a zombie type monster, banish your card near upon his grave. It's a good thing there's no zombies that focus on banishing cards yet, because Book of Life would be brilliant for that. Wait, what's overpowering I do? Oh, she was gonna attack directly, but she decided, nah. Weird. Maybe I should roleplay as Alexis, attack the face down with Gigabyte. Finally, got the revenge from the free door. That's the final shot of I taken care of. But yeah, Cameron is the final shadow I doing this for some reason. If we get taken to the special finals arena, but Oh, we can't go to the map. I'm gonna save state. I'm gonna jump cut and show off the final Shadow Rider. Oh wait, I'm gonna have to beat the game, aren't I? Okay, we can't go back. Okay. So we do have a save state, which will take us all the way back there. So I'm going to jump cut to the next Shadow Rider. We have to team up with someone other than Alexis. I did beat the game of Bastion, but I'm going to team up with someone else, just for a tiny bit. So I will see you guys. Oh wait, I have to go through part two again. I'm going to do that anyway, so I'm going to jump cut to show off the next Shadow Rider. One grind and a lot of pain later because the next partner I had was somehow worse than Alexis. It was some, well, it was somehow worse than Alexis. It was worse than Bastion. They're just, but after, like when you team up with someone that is not Alexis or Bastion, they ought to go to sing. You start off by going to the power plant, Dual Bastion Tanya. Then I went to Duel's Don Zalug, who was Pedro Chaz. Don Zalug. Right, obviously I didn't Pedro Chaz. That's just something I said. I just noticed in the picture in the bottom right for Chaz's doors open. Like, what the hell? But um, after that, you go to Abydos, because I didn't pair up with Cyrus. What made you guys think I was pairing up with Cyrus? With the deck he had. But after you defeat Abydos, next is Alexis. He's paired up with someone. I teamed up with Zane. 
I think he had a personal stake in this duel as well. But he was also just a shit, if not worse. His main, like Zane's main strategy is future fusion and hope the opponent doesn't destroy it. If they don't destroy future fusion, they'll destroy the fusion monster. <laughs> it's so bad! But let's talk to Alexis who will use exquisite performers in the Shadow Riders arc. Instead of Wow Delay. And next is Night Shroud, Max Darkness Dragon. Show my second opponent. Yeah, this is a nice shroud. But luckily we only have to show off this duel and then we go straight back. But I have two stays that are saved. One is Lily Fane after Abydos. And this time and this second one is where we left off. So after this we will be able to go forward with Alexis. But new Mecha Dragon. <laughs> Oh Either. god, new Mecha Dragon, so I annoying. But I found out during this arc that Bastion uses the air deck in the Tag Force tournament. He'll use the water deck while you gain Jax Mouse, but when you have enough, he'll change. He will use his air deck with Alexis. But Nice Round here plays a dragon deck, focusing on the red eyes black dragon. I mean, the same needs to have more power than him, and he won't. He's gonna play Fusion Fusion. Have Dark Hole. That's another issue with Zane that I found. Dark Hole for one monster. Really? That's awful. He's going for Cyber and Dragon, but it doesn't matter. When he gets to play it, it's going to be destroyed. It doesn't matter how they destroy it. Yeah, Zane does terribly with this deck. It's always Future Fusion. And hopes it doesn't get destroyed or negated. The only way he could possibly be of help is if he somehow never loses the fusion master when he can just put in pure damage. I guess an interesting idea with the deck, but not a good one. Like, now I can't destroy those face downs. I have to play with those face downs in mind. I had to play with future fusion in mind. It's awful, and I hate it. And command night. We're gonna end our turn then. Hmm. And I like it even when Zay gets his fusion summon out, I can't destroy future fusion. So be lost. Mystic Tomato. Oh god. Take Gigabyte. Monster de Kogik. Gonna activate all to contribute. You wanna summon something? Nah. I'll take the life. Cardo Seto. Tangento. And here comes Iber and Dragon just to immediately get destroyed. Guru. Yes. I can only hope that they try and play like a bottomless trap hole or something. And same plays diffusion. That's fine. They haven't played a trap yet, but it's like an end of target. Eternal Evolution Burst! Reverse card open! Trap hard! Yep. Fair. The protocols attack on monsters. Dave, you your opponent takes a bow, don't you? Take as a result of this bow. Diffusion. Same. <laughs> 
I mean, he's got a knife, but... Oh, now that he's doing it. He's doing it because he thinks he has skin, but he could have negated the damage. Do I think his game, I don't know, he can do anything. それがどうした行け。モンスターでダイレクトアタック。ね。行け。モンスターでダイレクトアタック。ああ。けらすけ。ゼンメイルカバラスファイナーパトロスメゲンズポイントワズオフォル。この痛み格別だ。どうして負けたのか。よく考えてみるんだな。はい。That's right. great. So, I'm going to go save. I'm gonna continue this playthrough with Zayn on a different state. Well, actually, now that I think about it, I have to. Oh, I can't do that. There's really no point. Alright, let's. Let's just save state with that. But I'm gonna load the status up here. Give me a fuse to save over newer data. Oh, well. That's fine. We have a state. So that's okay. But I think that's enough for this episode. Because next episode could take a bit. So, next time we're going to walk up ahead and see who is awaiting us at the end of this arena. See you guys then.